Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the introduction of parkour course. During this lesson, we're going to take a look at the catlip. I believe you're already familiarized with the catlip from the previous lessons, but if you're not, then it doesn't matter because we're going to get it from the scratch. So let's not waste our time and we'll proceed to the first step, the correct position of the catlip. I have to say that catlip is one of the most simplest and basic elements, but if we go into the details, then it becomes a little bit tricky. For example, even grabbing should be correct. And by correct, I mean that your body has to, how to say it, keep yourself on the arm on the top and help with your legs to get yourself on the wall. What I'm talking about right now is actually you do not supposed to be in this position when all the pressure goes to your arms and neither you have to go like this when you're also not helping with your legs. So it's hard to tell about the proper position because it's individually for every person and I believe my position would look like this. As you can see, uh, my legs here go here for about 45 degrees when I'm hanging, but it also depends on the wall that you're actually using. This one has a really good grip, that means that my legs do not slip from the surface. And over here, the cat lip for me would be this one. Why I'm talking about the surface of the wall? Because it's really important how to do that. If you have a rail or something to grab on the top, it really doesn't matter how you put your legs, because pressure over there goes to your arms. And if the wall is going to be slippy and you have something to grab on the top, then you would most likely go into this position, because otherwise your leg will slip down. So what I'm trying to say is that it all depends on the wall and on the grabbing point on the top. So let's make some kind of average things out of it. And let's say that you have to find a wall with a good grip and something good to use your arms on the top. So right now, just try to get yourself into the catlip position and check if you're comfortable enough while hanging. If you're feeling that your body goes too far behind or that you're using only your arms and hanging like a sausage this is not a this is not a cat lip. and this one also is not we're using only our toes and arms and so in order to proceed to the first exercise you must feel comfortable and find your point on the wall where to put your legs for me let's say it's going to be this point over here and to do the exercise I must stand in front of the wall and then using my arms I will try to get them on the top and then do the simple cat lift with putting my legs over this line over here. So in order to do that we're getting into the squat position then we're going with the arms up and now focus on your legs. I'm telling you why just because it's really easy to put your arms on the top of the obstacle you just need to keep them high and then they will come from the top straight over here but the legs are harder to control because if you are going to pay attention to the arms you cannot see where actually you're putting your legs or even if you can see it would be some kind of blurry because your eyes do not see this properly uh, on the very top of your level or on the very lowest level so paying attention to our legs we're going to the squat position and here we're jumping with paying attention to our legs. Let's do it once again. <laughs> As you can see, I did a proper mistake. I chose a wrong line over here and that's why, why I'm jump when I jumped, I started to fall back. In order to avoid that, you must consider to put your legs a little bit lower because if you jump like this, you will probably go down if you don't have a proper grip on the top. So for me, let's say this line would be over here right now. So 
when I'm doing the catlip, I'm feeling really comfortable on this wall. And now, if, when you get comfortable with this exercise, we can proceed to the next one, to the jumping into the catlip. Right now, we're at the point where catlip gets a little bit tricky. The reason that we have to firstly look onto the top of the obstacle when we're jumping and then we must spot the correct place for our legs. In order to start this exercise, I would recommend you to feel comfortable with this jump first and then you simply go a little bit more far, a little bit more far away from the wall and starting to jump from a bigger distance. Let's see this in slow motion, because I want you to pay attention where I'm looking exactly. First, uh, when I'm starting to jump, I actually look on the top of the wall. And when I'm almost got my hands on the top, I'm starting to spot the proper position for my legs. As you see before preparing to the jump, I'm getting my arms behind of myself, and then I'm spotting the top of the wall. When I almost hit the wall with my arms, I'm starting to spot the line to put my legs on. The same thing is also with the bigger jump. The longer the distance, the longer you have to pay attention to your arms and only during the very last moment you're starting to pay attention to your legs. But what if you want to do a running cat? Then I would say that you will have to understand the technique of the run-up first where you have to decide which leg is more comfortable for you. For me, it's the left one. And then, when taken off, we must go with our second leg and both arms simultaneously forward and to the top and keeping our chest a little bit forward. And then, in the air time, when you're almost hitting the wall, you have to get your legs in front of you. And this is where it gets tricky. You don't have to put your legs too much in front of you just because if you will get into this kind of position your back will be too far away from the wall and you will simply would not be able to grab so and also you don't have to get your legs too vertical because otherwise you will just hit the wall with the body what if you want to do is to find a proper way to do that and the hard thing here is that it's also individual for everyone and it also depends on the grip because when we're doing the cat lip we must go with our legs here and let the body come to the top but sometimes when the grip is not that good we just want to let our legs slip down or for example when we're doing a big cat lips like this one as you can see legs are going straight from the top to the down but if the running if the running cat lip is not really big, for example like this one, we can I would say put our legs at about this angle and then we're putting our legs and arms simultaneously on the wall. Let's take a look at this in a slow motion to get more into the details. Start this move with a proper run up. Get your leg from which you're taken off in front of you and then simultaneously go with your second leg and both arms in front. Now pay attention to your arms and actually see where are you landing. Keep them in this position and try to get your taken off foot to the same position as the second one. So summarizing all the things that we have learned about the cat lift today, that it's individual for everyone, the wall has to be grippy, the top of the wall has to be grippy as well and it would be perfect if it has a rail or some kind of block that you can actually grab your hands with and that you don't have to go too much forward with your legs because you will simply not stay on the wall in this position so remember to practice cat lips because it will be useful a lot of times for you and i hope to see you during the next lessons my name is alex train safe